Hello, welcome to this Getting Started with SharePoint Framework to Development video series. And in this time, we'll have a look on how do we set up your development environment for SharePoint Framework development. And this is the February 2018 edition. So there will be, and there will be also changes in the future on this one, just to make sure that all of the version numbers and everything else are matching on the current situation, what's happening within the web development world. So like I said, this is the February 2018 edition. If there will be any changes within our guidance, we always keep the written format of the guidance uh, up to date. Uh, matching what actually needs to happen and typically we try to get the videos up to date at the same time but you might want to double check always the the written format of the guidance uh, if there's any small nuances or small additional things to be applied on the environment which could be caused by for example some version conflicts between the node.js and the SharePoint Framework uh, environment or SharePoint Framework development experience. Now let's actually get started on the installation of the needed uh, tooling and installation of the needed uh, um, utilities to our machine. Then easiest way to actually get started obviously on installation of the setup, uh, installation of your development boxes is to follow up on the guidance and the guidance itself can be found from the docs.microsoft.com slash SharePoint and if you go to the SharePoint development and developer side of this documentation you can find the SharePoint framework in here and in the SharePoint framework uh, you can uh, expand this getting started section in here. And then we have set up the development environment. Right now when I'm recording this video, this is actually an older version of the guidance, but you'll see this one to be reflected already with the latest version when the this video is also getting out. Now, how do we can then get started on the installation of things. Well, we first we need to install uh, Node.js. And right now, uh, when the video is getting recorded, the LTS version is 8.9.4. And that is actually exactly what we want for SharePoint Framework. Um, and it, if it's 8.9.5 or 6 or whatever, the later versions, most likely those will work absolutely fine with SharePoint Framework development as well. But you want to double check quickly always on from the written format if there's any version conflicts like already said. So in our case, we're going to go here, we're going to install the 8.9.4, the long-term uh, support version. And let's actually execute that immediately when it's getting downloaded. The Windows is doing some security double checking on the MSI, so it's absolutely fine. The version has been already uh, downloaded and we can see that it's actually there, 64, uh, 16 megabytes, so it's getting extracted on the machine. So this one uh, is super simple to set up. So you basically just install uh, the node to your machine and you can use the default settings, whatever the node uh, installer is actually uh, doing. There's the uh, administrative uh, operation, so let's do a yes on that one and install, or install the Node.js 8.x uh, to your to this computer. Now, as part of the 8.9.4, you'll actually get an NPM 5 version uh, available. NPM is the packaging manager, and that is absolutely suitable version uh, for us to use as well. Now, the next thing after the, the Node has been uh, completely installed, there we go. We can always double check the versions which are now running, for example, using PowerShell or whatever is your command line preference. So we can do uh, node-v and that's going to now show that we're running 8.9.4 and or we can do npm-v and that's going to now tell us that we're running 5.6 version of npm. And these are completely suitable versions for SharePoint framework development. Now, the next thing before we actually install the Yeoman templates and, and all of the other stuff from NPM, let's actually go and install Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to use uh, Visual Studio Code. So we're going to actually get access on that one and approve. You can clearly see that it's a clean machine because Google is uh, demanding that uh, those confirmations as well. So let me go to the code.visualstudio.com uh, and I can download the Visual Studio code to my machine. And this is a really great tool for web stack development tasks and there's a lot of extensions, there's a lot of other stuff here as well. So let's actually get the installation ongoing. So there we go and open when done. So we get the Visual Studio Code installer executing on this machine. And this is super easy setup as well. 
just clicking yes 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 uh, next 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 uh, and we are pretty much good to go so in my case well you can always um, these options are kind of an interesting um, you can always select the options um, i prefer actually personally to have the open with code and open with code in windows explorer and a file and the director menu because that way you can always right click for example a file explorer uh, in a folder and say open this folder in visa studio code and that's super super convenient now i can actually select that one as well we can do the full selection and click next and install visual studio code to this machine and that's going to be quite fast as well uh, it takes um, only a few seconds to actually get the visual studio code uh, ready to go now after the visual studio code has been uh, installed we now have the baseline so we have the node and we have the npm and we have our development uh, environment and sure you can add additional extensions and all of those things in visual studio code there's plenty of them and you can actually select what it, whatever whatever you want to actually install but one thing that's missing now still is the packages which are actually providing the SharePoint framework solution structures for you and we can actually see that they're missing if we do npm list uh, globally and depth uh, equals zero and this is going to list all of the packages which have been globally installed within this machine and, and as you can see the answer is actually empty because we haven't actually installed yeoman uh, we haven't installed gulp and any of the other uh, services which are needed uh, to actually do SharePoint framework development so let's actually do that so let's start with the baseline uh, structure so we need to have yeoman and the gallop installed to this machine and we're going to use the the npm install dash g um, yo gallop which is basically meaning that will install the yeoman and the gallop in the global directory within this machine uh, or global uh, global npm uh, location so the the yo and gulp will be available in any location when we're doing any development uh, in node or npm node within this machine this is going to take a while not a massive amount of time uh, because the, the installations are nowadays quite fast npm 5 is actually making things much 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 faster as well but it, because it's going to take a while we're going to speed up the video until everything has been completed And there we go. Now you can actually see that it only took 33.55005 seconds. So that's quite fast. And then there's the one last thing what's actually missing. So we haven't installed yet the Visual Studio Code, uh, sorry, the Yeoman templates for SharePoint Framework. So let's actually clean up slightly that one. And let's write here npm install uh, globally. So we're going to install this in this particular environment we're going to do the installation globally technically you can install this for a uh, solution or folder by folder as well if that's your preference and can generate a sharepoint and this is going to now install the yeoman generators for a yeoman generator for sharepoint framework and that's going to then also download all of the dependent packages uh, which uh, the, the yeoman templates for sharepoint framework are dependent on so there's a lot of npm packages which this uh, microsoft provided uh, package is actually dependent and those are getting pulled down to the machine as well so that everything is working as easy as possible and that was actually super fast as well so at this point uh, we are basically ready to go there are a lot of op optional tools uh, you can use fiddler quite often you want to use fiddler when you're working within the web stack development postman commander oh my gosh for mac as an example or, and obviously git uh, resource uh, source tooling as well technically though we are ready to go um, so you're able to do something like yo microsoft sharepoint and that's going to actually start the yeoman template uh, for microsoft sharepoint uh, and sharepoint framework and we can actually start walking through the the questions and providing the solution details and after that we'll uh, actually uh, scaffold the project solution for you but that's actually a step number two on the tutorial so there's a separate video for that but that's all what we need to do uh, for setting up the development environment so just to recap we installed the node 8.x version or 8.9.4 in this case we installed visual studio code and after that we installed gallup yo and the yeoman templates for sharepoint framework and we did that actually quite fast so this doesn't definitely take that long uh, after well especially nowadays in the latest versions of sharepoint framework
But thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please contact us using the social media channels or the GitHub uh, repository, GitHub issues, issue list, for example, in the SP Dev Docs issue list at http github.com slash SharePoint slash SP Dev Docs slash issues. And that is the issue list where we want to have your feedback on if documentation is uh, not up to date, if you have run into an issue, please use that issue list for getting a contact uh, on the SharePoint engineering. But thanks for watching and hopefully that was useful. Thank you.